Hello, new followers. It is I, Sebastian Conseco. I'm here with a new MCU review in which it's not technically new. It's a movie from 2008 titled The Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk is the second installment in the MCU and is directed by Louis Leterrier and stars Mark Ruffalo as the big angry green giant that we all know in... Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, you're telling me that that Mark Ruffalo does not play Bruce Banner or Hulk in this movie? What? Are, are you serious? The, the whole movie that's in the MCU doesn't have Mark Ruffalo? Wait, a different actor plays Hulk? Who? Edward Norton? The, the Fight Club guy? Uh, okay, then. And where Edward Norton plays Bruce Banner, who is in a condition that if he has a strong temper, he turns into the green giant that we call the Hulk. He has to find a cure for his condition, where he is on the run from the government. He is on the run specifically from Emil Bronski, played by Tim Roth, who on the side injects himself with serums, and later on becomes something bigger, the Abomination. It is up to Bruce Banner slash the Hulk to save the day. Ish, I mean, he, he saves... He saves a little bit, but I wouldn't... I mean, I'll get to that later. The character of the Hulk has had an interesting history. From his comic book debut Beyond, the Hulk has had his own TV show in the 70s starring Lou Ferrigno. It's, it's about as good as it sounds. He has then had an animated show and a movie in 2003 titled Hulk. The, two, the 2003 Hulk, however, is not that good, by the way. The 2003 Hulk was a big mess as it was dramatic, slow-paced, and boring. Ang Lee is a talented director, but he was the wrong choice to make a film about the Hulk. But then again, the 2000s weren't a great time for comic book films. Yes! But The Incredible Hulk is in fact an improvement over the 2003 Hulk film. But at the same time, it's not super impressive either. Alright, Edward Norton is pretty good as Bruce Banner, and I could take him seriously even within Edward Norton's high-pitched voice. I like the depth within Bruce and his Tim Roth as good versus evil, as Tim Roth's character becomes more and more unhinged as the film goes, it's the serums, until he becomes Abomination. For the film's drawbacks, well, this film isn't exactly as exhilarating as Iron Man. It feels really small for a movie that's promising a massive scale. Edward Norton is good enough as Bruce Banner, and Tim Roth is pretty good also as Emil. The action is okay, but man, the visual effects have not aged well. The whole movie just feels uneventful for the first half, but the second half is definitely a tad better. But overall, I don't really have too much to say about this film. If you want to watch an average enough movie, you'll get pretty much a decent experience. But to me, it's pretty underwhelming. But even with like a completely different actor playing Bruce Banner, this film has two things that make it worth a place in the MCU. First of all, Tim Roth's character, Emil, and his Hulk figure, Abomination. Abomination would go on to have a two-minute cameo in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, and he is also reprising his role for the upcoming She-Hulk series, playing the same character. The second thing is the post credit scene, where the colonel is sitting in a bar, and surprisingly, randomly, Tony Stark appears to talk to him about something. Yeah, told you so, General, but that super soldier program was put on ice for a reason. I've always felt that hardware was much more reliable. Stark. General. Post credit scenes like these usually are pretty common now for Marvel films, but this was like a follow up to the post credit scene in Iron Man. This was a brand new thing at the time because it was building up from what the post credit scene in Iron Man was establishing. It's actually pretty chilling that this franchise was actually being built up to something bigger than life, and this post credit scene embodies that. It is a very good post credit scene in a pretty okay enough film. I would say see The Incredible Hulk for Tim Roth. It's it's on HBO Max too. I mean. I give The Incredible Hulk a B-. There are more MCU reviews and other videos coming sooner than later. And if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. If you don't, then I'll be pretty angry and you don't want to see me when I'm angry. Yup! Yeah!